Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the status boards that show up on the ship, primarily in the engineering spaces. So we've got three to show you uh, between the upper level of Fire Room 3, here where we're standing right now on Broadway, and Engine Room Number 2, which has a couple others. So, on modern ships, there are all sorts of status boards, and when something happens, automatically, electronically, these status boards light up to indicate what's going on. Well, this ship is analog. Even in the 1990s, during the end of her service, everything was still analog. So, uh, we are right now above fire room number three on Broadway, and here is the only place on the ship I've found so far that has a status board for all the equipment in all of the fire rooms. You'll notice it's right next to a sound-powered phone, so that if you're changing the status of some piece of equipment in one of those fire rooms, you call up here, let them know, and then they can manually turn this. The engineering officer of the watch tends to be in engine room number three, so not too far behind us and can come up here and take a look at this or can call up and ask what the status is of any of this equipment. And these are real simple um, dials. You just turn them to your color. These have four different colors. If they're indicating green, it means that the equipment is in use. If it's yellow, it's in standby mode. Blue, that piece of equipment is secured and cold. Uh, and red, it is out of commission. So down for maintenance, something like that. There's also a black dot near the ones that are electric motors as opposed to what is steam powered because the engineering equipment has a lot of electric auxiliaries, although steam would be your primary use. Uh, so this board is a great place to check what all the various pieces of important equipment is in the fire rooms of the ship and what is functioning. Engine room number two serves as secondary main control. And so there is a status board here of the entire steam plant of the ship. Uh, and again, there's no wiring or anything behind this. There's no indicator lights on the board. It is simply, if you have a valve closed, then you turn the piece so that it is forming a T across the pipe that is drawn there. That means it is closed. When you've got a valve open, you turn it so that it is in line with the pipe there to indicate that that is open. This is showing you what is active and where the steam flow is going. So for example, this board shows that uh, both boilers number one and two in fire room number two are closed off, that that whole fire room is secured. Meanwhile, the boilers in fire room number two and three are all open and four is secured. Because the plant is cross-connected, fire room number two can feed both engine rooms one and two, and fire room number three can feed both engine rooms three and four. So even though the whole plant isn't lit off, some of it's clearly down for maintenance, they are still able to uh, get steam to all four propellers and keep the ship going at uh, a reasonable speed without dragging a prop and losing uh, something like seven knots of speed just from having a, a dead prop dragging. Another interesting thing about this uh, sort of sheet metal board, you can draw on it with grease pencil to indicate anything you want to. You can leave notes, you can... Uh, th there are still circles here on some of these valves. I'm not sure why, if that was from a drill or from something that was going on at the end of the ship's career. Uh, as far as we know, none of this has been messed with since the ship was last in service. However, this particular status board is a little bit unusable because of its location. Fire room number two is pretty cramped um, because the degaussing motor generators in the middle of the room sort of force the rest of the equipment out to the sides. And so this is off in a corner above a sink. Um, I'm six feet tall and I can't reach a lot of these uh, status indicators. There doesn't seem to be a stool around here. I guess I could climb up on this uh, sanitary pump to get up there. But uh, also, because it's back in the corners, you can see some of this piping is just in the way. You can't really see the whole board all that well. 
each of the electrical control stations in each of the four engine rooms has one of these Bakelite status boards included. And um, they're showing you the electrical distribution from the motor generators. So which ones are online, uh, which circuits are closed and have power going through them versus which ones are open and are not in use. So with this one, you've just got these little plastic screws that you can put into the holes to show that, show that the circuit is closed. And this is showing how uh, electrical distribution goes and how it can be cross-connected. So each engine room has two ship service turbo generators creating electrical power. And each engine room has uh, switches that are controlling uh, whether these circuits are open and closed. And the different circuits are controlled from different engine rooms. So for example, engine room two has the circuit for turret number two's power in it. And we're the only engine room that has that. So um, if neither of the turbo generators in engine room two are operating, we can still get power to the switchboard in here from a turbo generator in a different engine room. And this just shows that it is a circle that uh, number one switchboard is tied into number two, number two is tied into number four, number four is tied into number three, number three is tied into number one. So they're not all cross-connected to everything, but there's, there's a roundabout route in which they're all connected. And if you take one out of the equation entirely, you can still get power to the others. So each one shows the turbo generators down here, and uh, there's a screw in the secured position to show that they are offline, or there's a secure uh, a screw showing that they are tied in, in the closed position. So generator number five here is feeding switchboard number three, which has a closed circuit in bus tie number four, so that it can go to this closed circuit over here to number four switchboard in engine room number four, because neither of those two generators are online. So we're continuing to power the whole ship even with only part of the power plant operational. This is important because it shows you the redundancy built in and it shows you that, uh, hey, we've got all this stuff. We've got eight boilers, we've got eight turbo generators, we've got uh, four turbine units powering the ship. However, there's a maintenance cycle for all this. It's gotta be down at different times. So how do we know what's working now? These various status boards I showed you are how the engineering department could tell that so that when my watch is over and somebody else comes to relieve me, I don't have to stand here for a half hour of my sleeping time uh, explaining everything that's going on. Just point to that, show them it's up to date, and walk away. Did your ship have analog status boards like New Jersey or digital ones like many modern ships have today? The analog stuff is great as long as somebody is actually doing what needs to be done. So let us know in the comment section down below what sort of status boards you've used before. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our content. If you'd Thanks like to watching. spend an evening with me and other battleship enthusiasts and support the museum, Saturday, January 8th, we are hosting a meet and greet on board the ship. This starts at 4.30 and will probably run to about 9 p.m. Uh, during the talk, I'm going to answer questions from people like you. And also, we're going to uh, answer, talk about my opinions on a couple of my favorite questions. Um, one of them, what would a modernized Iowa-class battleship look like in 2022? And another one, what would have happened if Battleship New Jersey was in the San Bernardino Strait? Those are just a couple of the questions. We'll have some other ones. And again, you guys can submit questions. This uh, talk probably will not end up on the YouTube channel. Uh, and if it does, it'll be months before it happens. So if you're in the area and you want to su uh, support the museum, 
I'd love it if you came out and met me. The winter is traditionally a very slow time for the museum, so coming out and participating in events like this really helps us get through to the next busy season. There's a link in the description below with more information if you're interested in attending.